All right, good morning, everyone. Probably a meeting of the DuPage County Development Committee of November 21st in order. Can we have a roll call? Member Kajewski. Here. Member Chaplin. Member Gustin. Member Ozog. Here. Member Rutledge. Chair Tornatori. Here. I know Member Gustin. Brian, we go get Patty. She's right. She's talking to Connie. I know. Sheila was here too earlier. Sheila, I know Patty. So I'm just talking to yeah, you guys are getting late switchmen. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you say we were? Okay, Member Gustin is here. We do have a start now. And welcome to Member to start as well. Um, Chairman's remarks Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving week. And I have nothing else. Public comment. We have uh, one person. Oh, and Member Rutledge is here now. So, I'm so sorry. I thought everybody was showing was still up. Still we thought that was still going on. There's something going on out there. Uh, we have one uh, person signed up for public comment. A uh, public comment uh, is no longer than three minutes in uh, duration. Uh, we do not receive or accept any new testimony, but we're certainly uh, happy to hear anything that anyone has to say about anything on the agenda. I have Joseph uh, McInerney. McLeany. Okay, uh, regarding the Washington Avenue property. Go ahead. Um, is there a particular place you want me to say? Uh, right there is fine. Uh, I'm sure. I hear it. There's nobody coming in on Zoom, so we can see it. Uh -huh. see, my, see my mug on camera? Um, so uh, good morning. Thank you everyone for your time. My name is Joe McQueenie. Uh, I'm from the law firm Polsonelli. Um, I'm assisting my colleague, Mark Gershon, who attended the previous hearings on the Sony matter for 28 West 510 Washington Avenue. Um, we're pleased that the ZBA has unanimously recommended approval of the conditional use for group quarters to allow important community resource to continue to operate with a maximum of 12 residents. Also recommended removing the limitation of three years, given in part that the evidence has showed that over the last three years, the facilities not only met, but in most cases exceeded the conditions and findings on which it was approved in 2021. Just a, a quick brief history on the site. In 2021, Montanito, which is the name of the group, applied for with unanimous recommendation of the ZBA. The county board approved a conditional use permit to upgrade the property to a group quarters use allowing up to 12 residents. All improvements in the conditional use ordinance have been completed for up to 12 residents. Uh, the county wanted to get a second chance to take a look at this use. So to my understanding, a fairly unique condition was added indicating that we would need to come back in three years now to renew the conditional use permit. Evidence uh, was presented by expert consultants in their field to confirm that the project has operated as we and they expected it would without adverse impact on the community. Um, as a result, granting this conditional use will not change anything at the site since the project design and improvements were all made and the property has been operated with 12 residents for almost three years. Recently, on September 28, 2023, before the ZBA, we had a full team with us who provided information, including operations and uh, maintenance professionals from Montanito. Uh, Brendan May, a traffic engineer from KLLA, Aaron Bowen, an appraiser and senior manager of uh, evaluation advisory uh, services with Cone Resnick. Cone Resnick in particular found the following, <coughs> uh, no adverse impact on property values were anticipated in 2021 based on reviewing comparable uses and properties. Using that same analysis, Cone Resnick confirmed that there was no adverse impacts on property values over the last three years. The only neighbor who objected in 2020 was shown to have sold her house after the conditional use permit was approved and operating. Uh, the price was above market and a quicker sales time than expected. Um, no evidence was presented in opposition to this testimony. Uh, KLOA, our traffic engineer, found that there was no adverse on traffic and none was anticipated over the last three years. Um, this was confirmed by our, our engineer. The traffic generator was actually less than their anticipated given conservative analysis. Um, there's no reason to anticipate any adverse impact on traffic in the future. Um, just quickly, compliance with local and state codes. The project was built to code as confirmed by county inspections and approvals. Operations were done to county and applicable health codes. 
The property has been maintained to code. Any issues have been addressed when identified by neighbors or the county. The owner is committed to continue to operate in compliance with applicable codes in the future. There are no project changes requested as part of this application. Um, the use itself, there's no question that the use is appropriate. The use is permitted for eight beds and was approved for 12 beds three years ago. The property was upgraded and beautified with additional landscape offerings as part of the prior conditional use. Numerous health and community benefits of operation of this use to the residents and to the county and surrounding communities are a result of this project. So if you don't mind, can you yes. wrap it up, please? Thank you. Absolutely. Um, I would just like to close with um, a letter. Um, this is within your packets. I think it's 23 and 24. Um, this is from one of the residents. I think it's um, uh, evidence of the good it's done in the community. Uh, it says the following. In May of this year, my life was in shambles. I was severely ill due to my eating disorder. I was incredibly depressed, anxious. I was having trouble living my life. To say I was lucky to find Montanito is the understatement of the year. I truly felt like I was recovering at home. The staff are committed to ensuring that the program operates in a way that is respectful to their neighbors, their life-saving organization. Please give others the opportunity I was lucky to have. Um, we believe the ZBA unanimously approved the <laughs> requested uh, conditional use permit because of the clear evidence that the project has operated for almost three years showing everything we said it would in 2021. This is a much needed Chair, resource for the community. Well exceeded the three, minute over three minutes. period for this person. The council is ready, ready to wrap it up. Oh, he said he's wrapping it up and he's right. reading a letter right. that's sitting right here. Uh, with that being said, uh, members of the committee, can give council an opportunity to finish up. I'm kind of rule. Uh, Brian, I'm chairing the committee. Please finish up. Uh, that's really all I have. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, I'm council. open to any questions if you have any. Okay, that concludes public comment. I'll move on to minutes. I want to a motion to approve the minutes of November 7th, 2023. So moved. There a second? Second. Second. Any additions, corrections, or deletions? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? And the minutes are approved. Moving on to regulatory services. I'll entertain a motion to approve DCP 18 years so 23. Second. A recommendation for approval of a contract order, a lakeside consultants for professional services. To reform building and plumbing plan reviews and inspections around and these. He has needed basis for the period December 1, 2023 to November 30, 2024, for building and zoning for an amount not to exceed $75,000. There's a motion to second. Any questions, comments? Yes. Howard, did, did they, they have a question? I don't know if we followed up on that. Wooddale, did, did Wooddale, did, did they get rid of these people? Nope. They still work there. They, they, they said they were very happy with them. Okay. Any other questions, comments, concerns? Okay, here I'm not seeing none. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to approve TEP 75 23, a recommendation Seven. for a purchase order to a cell inc. or manage the application services to support Second. permitting software for the building and zoning, transportation, stormwater, and public works departments for the period of February 21st, 2024 through February 20th, 2025, for a contract total not to exceed. $199,290. Motion in a second. Any questions, comments? Yes. Um, will this then go to the IT committee? No. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you. Right. Any other questions, comments? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. I'm moving on to item 6C. I want to a motion to approve DC 063 23, zoning 2367, uh, Board of Appeals recommendation to approve. And renew and extend a conditional use for group quarters with a maximum occupancy of 12 residents previously approved under Z204628 West 510 Washington Avenue Investments LLC. There a motion to approve. So moved. There a second. Second. Any questions, comments? Yes. Concerns. Um, I have experience with Montecito. They built a, an eating disorder uh, facility in a neighborhood, Paul, you and I worked together in District 5, oh gosh, three or four years ago, and the neighbors didn't want it. They said that there were no traffic lights because it's unincorporated, no sidewalks because it's unincorporated. The residents didn't want it. And now all these three, four years later, they still comment that there are um, disruptions in their neighborhood from um, ambulances coming in and out of the community from time to time. Um, sometimes several times a month, and they've got kids riding on their bikes without sidewalks, without street lights. And so I guess my comments <laughs> are, 
is this um, in District 6, like the one in District 5, as in, is it a resident, residential community? It is. It is a residential community. Um, and I heard it's a group home for eating disorders, just like the one in District 5. Um, and I'm sure you continue to get um, complaints from District 5 residents who are have the Montecito facility in their neighborhood now. So um, the, the, the Montanito in uh, District 5 is the same company as running the Montanito in, I, in this I, case. I, I, I and and uh, we, we have gotten complaints on the one in the Naperville, one incorporated Naperville area, yeah. but not on this one, not the one that's before you. Okay, and the residents in this District 6 are all in favor of this into their community? They are, yeah. Okay. Uh, originally, there were some concerns, um, but uh, there are no more concerns. In fact, uh, this uh, use is on a private roadway in Montanito, uh, has taken responsibility for some of the common element uh, improvements and uh, uh, street uh, safety issues, such as snow plowing and keeping the street clean. Uh, so there's no issues with uh, this Montanito in this, uh, this area. All right. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Chair. I just, I had concerns when I saw this same company because. There were concerns in District 5, and there still are. And this is a different um, situation. I'm okay. Any other questions? Yes. Um, and Paul, I guess a follow up on um, uh, Newman Josart's question Is there a way in which um, the county can communicate with the company? Maybe it's a management issue or something along those lines for District 5's building and get some of those complaints uh, remedied um, so that we don't continue to have those complaints, um, number one. Number two, uh, with all exception to council, um, the real estate market is hotter than heck. So things selling is kind of irrelevant <laughs> because everything is selling. Um, so um, I would anticipate probably the person that spoke may be opposed to this moved and so there isn't anybody to yeah. speak up on that at this point or maybe not at all so um i'm indifferent about this i would hope that the company would step up and make sure that district five's facility is addressed and um that there could have some attention to it and help uh so that we can get that rectified too i appreciate what the representatives from district five are doing with this is a district six issue and I, I don't know that you know. I don't know that one's necessarily relevant to another. Okay, I didn't say you didn't get a chance to vote. I said that's it. I think that's all. Your points are well taken, and hopefully, council can take it back if they even represent the people in this district. I, I don't know. Um, okay, any other questions regarding this matter before us today? Yes, a quick question. comment since this is my district. Um, and I remember the vote from previously, and I believe that we also voted on the Naperville facility. So I, I you know, none of this is foreign to me. Um, but I do recall that this was a very profitable um, endeavor. So my question is, are you helping in the community beyond the residents of your house? And is there any connection with our district or District 5 that um, is helping beyond your Line. We generally don't ask questions of the petitioner or the petitioner's representatives because we don't take new testimony here. But Paul, are you aware of anything? I don't want to turn it into a new hearing because that would move us away from what we're supposed to be doing. So to be clear, the Montanito in District uh, uh, 5 in Naperville is an adolescent Montanito uh, group with eating disorder issues. The agents of the group in uh, District 6 in Winfield is uh, an adult group. Um, while there are 12 beds available, there is turnover because there is, a, uh, there is a, a stay period where those people are in there for a certain amount of time and then new people come in. So the organization uh, is helping people in the, in the in DuPage County uh, on a turnover basis to get some people in, get them the services they need, get them the, the education they need to help them with their, uh, with their uh, disability. And then those people move out and new people come in. And one of the things that the petitioner did testify at public hearing about is, is that there is a great need and a backlog of people trying to get into these facilities, particularly the, the, uh, the, this facility. Um, so they are 
uh, through that sort of general answer, they are reaching out to the greater DuPage County community and they just simply don't have enough beds, but people are able to use this facility on a regular basis. So they are they are reaching out with education, letting them know they're available and when a bed becomes available, it gets filled immediately from someone in the DuPage County community. Thank you. Thank you. And there's no question that there's a need in the community. Um, no question at all that you know we need to serve these people, but um, I, I guess my um, thought is that isn't there anywhere in DuPage County, much like we did for the cannabis facilities that we were talking about, that is out of residential neighborhoods because of the extra traffic, because of the extra emergency crews in and out of the facilities. That was my point. I just wanted to make the point clarified that you know I'm supportive of these facilities because they're definitely need among our residents. I'm just having a problem with the placement, but thank you. Okay. Any other questions, comments? Okay, we have a motion and a second. Do you want to do a roll call? Sure. All right, roll call, please. Member Rosak? Yes. Member Gustin? Yes. Member Krajewski? No. Member Rutledge? Aye. Chair Tornatori? Aye. And the motion passes. Uh, moving on to item 60, I'll entertain a motion to approve DCO 64 23 zoning 2372. Wasasco is CHO's recommendation to approve a variation to allow six foot six inch 100% closed privacy fence. So, motion and second. Any questions, comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The motion carries. I'll entertain a motion to approve DCO 65 23 zoning. 2373 is the HO's recommendation to approve a variation. Mm -hmm. Well, six foot 100% okay. closed privacy fence motion. And a second. Any questions, comments? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The motion carries. On a motion to approve DCO 66 23 zoning 2374. Mm -hmm. Zoning hearing officer's recommendation to approve a variation to reduce corner site setback for a new hot tub installation. There's a motion and a second. Any questions, comments? Second. Mm -hmm. Motion and a second. All those in Board favor? Answer. Aye. And the motion carries. On a motion to approve PCO 67 23 zoning 2376. Zoning hearing officer's recommendation of approval variation to reduce the interior site setback from 20 feet to approximately zero feet for expansion of no frisk for a funeral home. There's a motion and a second. Any questions, comments? Hearing none, seeing none. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. I'm going to motion to approve DCO 68 23 zoning 2378. Hile and CHO's officer's recommendation to approve a variation of reduced corner site subject for a new detached garage from the required 30 feet to approximately 7.9 feet. So, second. 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 Uh, a motion and a second. Any questions, <laughs> comments? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? The motion carries. I'm going to motion to approve DCO 69 23. Zoning 2380 is the HO's recommendation to approve a variation to reduce the interior site setback from their party three feet to approximately zero feet to repave the driveway. So, motion and a second. Any questions, comments? All those in favor? Aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. On a motion to approve DCO 70 23, 70 2381, is the HO's recommendation to approve a variation to reduce the interior okay. site setback. From the required 10 feet to approximately 3 feet for a new detached accessory building. There's a motion and a second. Any questions, comments? Very none. Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? And the motion carries. And I'll update the motion to put PCO 71 23. Zoning 2382 is the HS Office's recommendation to approve a conditional use to reduce the interior site setback for an existing shed from 3 feet to approximately 20 inches. And a conditional use. To allow a five foot fence within a 10 foot corner site here at setback. There's a motion and a second. Any questions, comments on this one? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? The motion carries. Any old business? Anyone? Any new business? Anyone? I'm going to a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. second. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Happy Thanksgiving, everyone.